This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage Today here at the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting in San Francisco where researchers have reported success with gene therapy in a rare inherited cause of blindness. Wow. Wow. I spoke with Dr. Jean Bennett from the University of Pennsylvania about these findings. This is a very rare condition. There are probably about 400 people in the United States with this condition and uh, maybe five babies born per year in the United States so it is very very rare however it also is um, a great model to show that this sort of approach of treatment could work in other diseases which are more common so we're excited about it for that reason. The researchers gave 12 patients with the disorder an injection of genetic material to repair the damaged segment. Well, each one of these individuals gained visual function, which we were very excited about because some of the individuals were, were very old in terms of uh, how this d disease progresses. In this disease, most people are really essentially blind by their 20s or, and certainly by their 30s. And we included a 35-year-old and a 44-year-old, both of whom were severely visually impaired, and they both gained vision. So that was the older end of the spectrum. And uh, then the really dramatic results were that the children enrolled in the study gained very significant amounts of vision. Um, in fact, it, the gains made them have the same, come close to the same level of light sensitivity of people with normal vision and allowed them to, instead of having to ambulate with a cane or by holding somebody's hand to be able to walk independently, to be in a classroom, um, when not using visual aids such as large computer screens and uh, uh, being able to sit in the front of the class reading a regular classroom book. So it, that's been really very exciting. While the results were promising, they may give hope for more than just the single disorder studied. This particular reagent that we're working with will not be applicable to, say, other forms of retinitis pigmentosa or AMD. However, the strategy, I think, would be, and I think it is both the safety and the efficacy data open up the possibility of using this same approach to treat the many other inherited retinal degenerations that there are. These are different forms of retinitis pigmentosa, choroideremia, etc. And the strategy would be very similar. It's just the, re the exact gene that goes into the reagent would be a little different. So the promise of gene therapy appears to be coming true for a small segment of the blind population, although whether it's curative remains to be seen. Here in San Francisco at the American Academy of Ophthalmology meeting, I'm Crystal Fend, MedPage Today.